Hi, Mike here. A common requirement for many Excel users is to be able to import data into Excel from a web page and keep that data up to date if the source data changes. Financial data, sports data, country related data. And those are just a few examples of the sort of data that you'll find on the web that you might need to work with in Excel. The list is endless. Now, Excel for Windows users can use Power Query's From Web button to do this. And even though Excel for Mac now includes Power Query, the functionality to connect to a web page isn't included. However, if you need to pull data into Excel from a web page on the Mac, there is a way to do it. You'll need to create an IQY file, which is simply a text file with an IQY extension that contains the URL of the web page you wish to connect to. IQY stands for Internet Query. For this demo, I'm going to use a web page that contains the league table for the English Premier League. To create an IQY file, you need a text editor. You can use any text editor, but for this demo, I'm going to use text edit simply because it's built into the Mac OS. Into a new document, enter the URL of the page that you want to import into Excel and save the file, making sure you save it with an IQY extension and not a TXT one. With text edit, I found an issue where it automatically adds a TXT or RTF extension, which other text editors don't. To work around this, before saving, click Format Make Plain Text. Then select File Save and make sure you untick the box that says if no extension is provided, use TXT. Enter a file name, including the IQI extension, and click Save. As I say, that bit seems specific to text edit. Other text editors like Sublime Text, which I also use, I didn't need to do that. But the benefit of text edit is, as I said, it's built into macOS. Once you've saved the file, you can close it. In Excel, click the data menu. That's the one at the top of the screen on the menu bar, not the one on the ribbon. Click on get data and click run web query. Select the IQY file, which in my case is on my desktop and click get data. Select the location where you want to import the data. I'll leave it as A1 and click Import. Once the data has been loaded into Excel, you can tidy it up and format it using normal Excel functionality. If the source data changes, in other words, the data on the web page, you'll need to update or refresh the table, which you can do by right clicking in any cell in that table and clicking on a refresh. However, as you can see, all the formatting is lost because Refresh literally reloads the data from the table in the web page, overwriting what's in the worksheet. My suggestion here would be to create a macro that you run immediately after the data is refreshed, which automatically tidies up and formats the data. So, as you can see, it is possible to import data from a web page into Excel for the Mac, but it does have limitations. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.